concept of Trinity and how is it related to crucifixion? F I X I O N. Yes, sister posed a very good question. That what is the concept of Trinity and how is it related to crucifixion? F I X I O N. Thank you for clarifying that. That will be difficult for me to answer. Again, Islamic viewpoint and the biblical viewpoint, Quranic viewpoint, biblical viewpoint. Again, Quran gives the answer in Surah Maida, chapter number five, verse number seventy-three. Lekat kafir lazina kalu inna Allah salisu salasa that they are doing kufr, they are blaspheming those who say that God is three in one, that means Trinity. And in Surah Nisa, chapter four, verse one seventy-one says, "Wala takulu salasa," do not say Trinity. This has stop it. It's better for you. Walat akulu salasa. The word Trinity is mentioned in the Quran no less than two times. But if you pick up the Bible, in the complete Bible, the word Trinity is not mentioned anywhere. If you read this big encyclopedia, it is more than twice the size of the Quran. Actually, you know this is in small writing. This is along with Arabic and English and commentary. The Bible actually is twice the size, more than twice the size of the glorious Quran. Nowhere will you find the word Trinity. Nowhere. The closest verse that any Christian can come to regarding the concept of Trinity is from the first epistle of John, chapter number five, verse number seven, which says, "For there are three that bear record in heaven: the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one." The closest verse regarding Trinity, first epistle of John, chapter five, verse seven. And if you read the Revised Standard Version, this is the King James Version, which I was showing, which is the most popular. This is the Revised Standard Version. Whether I want to know which version, I'm even answering you two in one. I'm trying my level best in five minutes' time. RSV Revised Standard Version, a new version. Version means the authentic source differs. And the Christian boasts of 24,000 manuscripts of the Bible, but no two are identical. This is the New King James Version, which Pastor refers to. This is the Douay Version, which has 73 books. They have thrown out six books out of this, which the Catholics refer to as a fabrication. Who has done that? The Protestants. Pastor's Bible is the New King James Version, has only 66 books. It's a different Bible. There are various Bibles, various. In IRF, we have more than 25 different versions, more than 200 different types of Bible. You can come and refer to IRF. Coming back to your question, in the Revised Standard Version, which has been revised by 30 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different Christian corporate denominations, they said that the King James Version has got grave defects. And when they revised this, they have thrown this verse, which is the closest resemblance to Trinity. First Epistle of John, chapter five, verse number seven, as a fabrication, as a concoction, as an interpolation. They throw it out. Who? Not Muslims, not Hindus. Thirty two Christian scholars of the highest eminence, backed by fifty different copy denominations, they have thrown this verse, which is the closest resemblance to Trinity, as a fabrication. The word Trinity doesn't exist. Jesus Christ is the one. Never claimed divinity, as I mentioned earlier. And in the catechism of the church, they say the Father is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Spirit is a person. But they aren't three persons; they are one person, 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 person. But not three person, one person. What is this? One plus one plus one is three. But the Christian says one. And if you ask the Christian that when we think about the Father, what is the mental picture we draw? And a Christian, you draw the mental picture. Like Almighty God, like Santa Claus sitting in heaven with the earth as footstool. When he says the word or the sun or Jesus peace be upon him, somewhat like Jeffrey Hunter in the movie King of Kings. Jeffrey Hunter, blonde hair, white, doesn't look like a Jew. He doesn't have olive nose, but like Jeffrey Hunter. And when they speak about the spirit, something like a dove that came when John the Baptist was there, was baptizing, or like the smoke at the feast of Pentecost. Three different picture, but when you ask the Christian, how many pictures do you see? He tells you one. However much you try, you can never impose these three pictures as one. But when you ask them how many pictures, they say one. They are lying to you, because one plus one plus one is 
three. It is not one. And they give the example that see, the concept of Trinity is very difficult to understand. A person can be a father, can be a brother, and can be a businessman at the same time. So why can Almighty God be Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? I said, fine. Let's analyze the example. Suppose there's a person who's a father and a brother and a businessman. Suppose the sister goes and says something to the brother, a secret. But naturally, even the father and that person will know it. Even the businessman will know. But if you read the Bible, according to the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 13, verse 32, it says, Jesus speaks before him, says, that of that day, of that hour, knoweth no man, knoweth no angel, not even the son, but the father in heaven. That means, of the day of judgment, even Jesus Christ doesn't know, even the angel doesn't know, even the spirit doesn't know, only Almighty God knows. That means, they aren't three in one. They aren't three in one. The Trinity is the concept which is illogical. How much you try, you cannot superimpose. Suppose they say that Jesus Christ peace be upon, if I agree with him, died on the cross. Do you mean that even God died on the cross? 